Good afternoon, folks. Big Bo here with an incredible fifth wheel value from Parkway RV Center. And folks, this is a very special one. Kind of a strange story how I got it, but you're going to love it, and I'm going to save you a ton of money. Uh, this is a 2017 Columbus Compass, their biggest and best model, the 38 FLC. This is a 42 foot long big boy fifth wheel, five slides front lounge has just pretty much every option in the book on it um and here's a here's the kicker folks it's never been used it has never been used folks i'm not saying it's new because i'm not a compass dealer or, or a columbia dealer so i can't legally sell it as new but folks this is We're right underneath our speakers. Sorry about that, folks, but this is a beautiful 42 foot, four seasons, got an incredible R40 insulation. And uh, the story was people that bought this thing new spent 84 grand as equipped. And it's got low, it's got the six point hydraulic level up system, got the solar prep package, the stack washer and dryer, 12 gallon water heater, second AC, and much, much more. And they bought it, spent probably right at 85 grand, I'd say, with fees and taxes. And this was their first fifth wheel. Apparently, these folks were loaded. They've always been motorhome people. They've owned several motorhomes, and they they decided they saw this floor plan. They fell in love with it, so they winded up um, trading their motorhome in, bought them a new pickup truck, and and bought this fifth wheel. Hauled it five hours home from the dealership they bought it from. Could not get used to being stuck in a fit, in a pickup truck while they were towing the fifth wheel. They were used to moving around in an RV and being able to use it while you're traveling, things like that. So they took it home, parked it under their shed, never used it. Kept it for about a little over a year, a year and a half. Traded it back in and bought it and got a new motorhome. Everything inside still has a plastic wrapper on it, folks. Never been slept in. Bathrooms never been used. I mean, it's literally, folks, I can't sell it as new because it is pre-titled. And they did pay cash for it. They didn't have a lien on it. But I'm going to save you about $40,000. And basically, it, technically, you're buying a never used fifth wheel. So if you want to call that new, the more power to you. And you know, I, you know, I always say in my videos, there's no such thing as a like new used RVs, and this is just going to be that once in a lifetime exception to that rule. Because this thing is just absolutely beautiful, folks. Still smells new inside. Everything works, of course. It's brand new. Got two entry doors. Got the six point level up. This is built by Forest River. This is one of their biggest and best best fifth wheels. Got the alloy wheels, nitrogen field tires. Uh, like I said, it's got R40 insulation, outside speakers. Got the central vacuum system. Got the residential refrigerator with 1,000 watt inverter built right in. I mean, like I said, it's got the power awning, 20 foot power awning. It's got literally every option you could order when this thing in 2017. 381 FLC is the exact model number, folks. And let's look inside one of the prettiest fifth wheels you, you've probably ever seen with a front lounge. Folks, as we step inside, this unit's got the optional second AC. I've got both of them on right now. It's absolutely frigid in here. It's, it's right about noon. It's 86 degrees outside. I turned the airs on first thing this morning. Look at that, folks. <laughs> I'm, I, I'm literally getting goosebumps in here. Look at all these. Look at all these appliances, folks. Stainless steel appliances, solid surface countertops, solid wood cherry cabinets. This thing is literally, folks, needs nothing. Let's look up front. This is what's really cool is this front lounge. And, you know, I, we, we, we try to buy every used front lounge fifth wheel we can find. And this is no exception to the rule. Now, the only thing I'm going to pick on it, which I'm going to put one in it, but 
for some reason the floor register is missing here in the front lounge. I don't know why. But got a 50 inch TV with Bluetooth soundbar. Got a uh, fireplace, which is an electric insert that also has a built in 5000 BTU uh, electric heater. Full stand up, six point, six and a half feet height clearance up here in the front lounge. Leather furniture, folks, it's new. Theater seating. Two sleeper sofas. So you can sleep four people up here and you can sit six. It's a great conversation area. Uh, thermal pane windows, R40 installation. Got the glass fronts and the cabinets. This thing is absolutely beautiful. Got all LED lights. Got the twin, like I said, 28,500 BTU of cooling power. That's just absolutely, with this R40 installation, this thing is just like a built, it's insulated about as well as a refrigerator is. Got a central vacuum system, which works. Of course, I've got the factory brochure in here, and I'll have it available on our website, parkwayrvcenter.com. Got the island kitchen, got the residential style faucet with built-in sprayer. Now this is pretty cool. This is a pretty high dollar upgrade right here. You got an LG stainless steel 20 cubic foot residential refrigerator freezer. This was factory installed. The, uh, the plastic's never been taken off the stainless steel. The racks still have the plastic. This, uh, of course, it's ice cold, folks. Um, I mean, of course, there's no doubt about that, but it's never been used. And um, it actually has, because I know the number one problem with putting an electric fridge in a towable RV is that you've got no way to get it cold on the way to the campground when you're towing it behind your pickup truck. This one's got a built in 1,000 watt inverter. So when it's hooked to your truck, your batteries are getting charged and it's powering the inverter that's getting your refrigerator cold while you're traveling. And of course, electric refrigerator to me makes so much more sense in an RV than the traditional two-way gas electric refrigerator. Somebody, I don't know if those were just left in there, got a bunch of uh, ice things. Got a built-in ice maker. But, folks, you gotta understand, this thing is, is all intents and, perfect and, and purposes is brand new. But because of this, uh, electric refrigerator is going to hold a lot more food because you don't see a 20 cubic foot RV refrigerator, do you? You don't, and plus RV refrigerators, as many of you know, watch my videos, take six to eight hours to get to operating temp. This thing takes about two hours to get to operating temp. And it lasts a lot longer and it's cheaper to replace if it ever goes bad. So a lot of benefits to that. Got the big 22 inch oven, never used, never cooked on. Stove top, same, never cooked on. Got the glass top for extra countertop space. Big microwave, never used. Solid surface countertops. Lots of LED accent lights. It's got two extra chairs in the rear closet for the table and this table does have a leaf that extends out. Wow. Got plenty of windows, day night shades. Look here, I mean, everything's still in here from the factory, which. Wow. Beautiful RV. Uh, floors, got the tile lock floor in here, so it carpets, everything just perfect. Beautiful lighting. It's got the upgrade Max Air remote control, thermostat control, fantastic vent fans which was also an option. Look at this big bathroom, folks. It's got a 60 inch wide tub and shower. Never had a shower taken in. The stickers never been wet. Besides maybe when they PDI'd it, that was it. Skylight. I mean, this thing is absolutely beautiful, folks. Never took the stickers off the mirrors. Uh, China RV toilet. Everything's enclosed on the side, so when you're in the restroom, you're not blocking access to the bedroom. 
huge bedroom back here, folks. I love the front lounge floor plan. This makes so much more sense than a rear lounge because you get a bigger bedroom, you get a bigger kitchen and a bigger lounge area just by switching everything around. Queen Island bed, 60 by 80, Serta, inner spring mattress, never slept on. Huge closet across the back. Open this up, you've got a brand new, well, it was put in from the factory, but never used stack washer and dryer. Still got all the books in it, all the plastic. Open this up. Big closet, there's your chairs, your extra chairs for the table. Got LED adjustable reading lights. 32 inch TV back here. Chested drawers, sliding glass door. I mean, folks, this thing is absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I know this one may not be for everyone. In fact, uh, this may be out of a lot of people's price range. But the purpose of this video is for those of you who are in this price range, basically you're saving, for, you're getting a, a $80,000 fifth wheel for $46,900. And it technically it's used but technically it's not used. So it's going to be tied, it's previously titled, so in the eyes of the law, that makes it a used fifth wheel. But it's never been used, everything's still in it. The wrappers, look here, they ain't even took the stickers off the big TV yet. There's your Bluetooth sound bar up top, which also has a radio built in. Wow. Folks, there's not a deal like this anywhere, and I have every right to ask twenty grand. If I asked twenty grand more for this camper, for this for this fifth wheel, it would still be a good deal. If you were looking at a brand new one, but I'm not going to do that, folks. I price these things by what I pay for them. Um, the way I got this one, of course, I got uh, the dealer that they traded this into for that new motorhome only sells new RVs. I've got several dealers in my network that I appraised or we appraised their trade-ins uh, because they don't sell used to the public. Any used RVs, they, they wholesale to dealers like us. We've been in business for 50 years. We've got a great relationship with many, many dealers. And we, get to, we, we appraise them. We give them what we call a buy figure, which is what we would pay for the unit. And if they trade, they trade for it off that figure. If they get it, we get first dibs on it. And in other words, we get to go down there and look. When they get several of them that we've appraised, we, we send somebody down there to look at them. If they meet our conditions for quality to sell to our customers, we'll buy all of them, or as many of them that meet our conditions as possible. And of course, this thing's practically new, so there was no question about it, but we were gonna get this one, and we did. Now, folks, this is 46.9. Um, as far as warranties are concerned, you know, there still may be appliance warranties. Uh, the fact the Forest River warranty was two years and it's two years old, so I don't think the Forest River warranty applies anymore, but you still got the 12 year warranty on the roof and you got 10 years of that left. This is a beautiful RV, folks. I mean, you're getting a 90 day nationwide limited warranty that we paid for, so you don't have to worry about that. Everything on it works, folks. Now we haven't checked it officially but it's brand new. It's been PDI'd by the original selling dealer. I've already went through it, turned on all the lights. We checked the slide out. We checked the jack system, the airs, the fridge, uh, the awning. So we checked all the major systems. They work flawlessly. So you don't have to worry about that, but we'll take it one step further, check the plumbing, check the propane system. We'll check all the appliances. Uh, inverter works. Uh, we'll check all the, the, make sure all the beds fold out correctly. We'll make sure, you know, we'll still run this thing through the same checkout that we would have used RV just to make sure. And if you want a copy of all the systems that we inspect for that option A haggle-free price of $46.9 and repair if needed for the price you pay, contact our sales department. And uh, they will send you over a copy of that list and go over it with you on the phone if you want to. Show you what it covers, what it doesn't cover. But, however, like I said, technically it's new. Technically it's used. So we are going to sell it as used. You can call it what you want. Um, but it's a beautiful RV, and it's a rare opportunity for somebody, especially if you've been looking at these brand new, you've got sticker shock. I'm going to save you a ton of money.
I mean, this is, even if this thing had been lived in for the past two years, it's still worth quite a bit more than I'm asking for. But this one's never been used. It's never been stayed in, never slept in, never cooked in. I mean, the people were just too intimidated by it when they drove it or hauled it home. They didn't like the uh, being confined in a pickup truck. They just couldn't get used to towing. So, like I said, they parked it. The fact the dealer that I bought it from had to send somebody to their house to get it because they didn't even want to tow it to the dealership to trade it in. So, which, folks, like I said, it happens. You know, that's why, they, that's where that saying different strokes for different folks comes from. Because there's several, every RV you get, whether it's fifth wheel, class A, B, C, motorhome, diesel, gas, travel trailer, toy hauler, there's pros and cons to every type of RV you get. And that's why everybody has personal preferences about what kind of RV they like. Like I'm a class A motorhome man myself. That's my personal preference. I, I appreciate the other brands like this fifth wheel, but when it comes to my personal use, that's what I prefer. And, and you know, everybody's got different taste and different uh, and different ideas what they want to do with an RV. So nothing wrong with that. So, uh, like I said, I, if I didn't, I will tell you this, folks. If if I didn't have a Class A, I'd be I, I'd have a pickup truck and a fifth wheel. Now, folks, this camper weighs twelve thousand three hundred pounds. It's forty two feet long. I personally recommend. The dually pickup truck, a diesel dually pickup truck to tow this camper with a eight foot bed. Now, I know on paper the single wheel trucks, and you, I get arguments and I get stuff for this all the time. Uh, but when I say that, but single wheel trucks on paper can tow this. Most of them can tow this much weight. But I towed these things for years, folks. I've seen this happen so many times on the road. When you've got a forty two foot fifth wheel behind your pickup truck. You're going 70, 75 miles an hour down the interstate. If you ever have a blowout in a dually truck, you can retain control, pull off the side of the road safely, and change your tire. On a single wheel truck, if you are not in, uh, know what you're doing, you're going to hit the ditch. That's why you want that extra stability of those two extra wheels. Now, and I also like a diesel because a diesel towing is going to hold up a lot longer than a gas wheel. But now, like I said, that's my opinion. You, I'm sure a lot of you out there have different opinions about that. But if you're going to buy a truck to tow, I would rather have too much towing capacity than not enough. And that's why I'm saying a, a dually with an eight-foot bed with a diesel engine, you know you're covered for pretty much whatever you want to use it for. And trust me, folks, I drove a, a dually for years. It doesn't, you get used to parking it and driving it really quickly. Anyway, folks, if you got a question about this fifth wheel, give us a call. This one, folks, you need to call. You can email us, but this one's going to sell probably in a few days once this video goes viral because of the deal it is. I mean, it's practically almost half price of what it costs new as equipped. You know, I know NADA says it's seventy-one, seventy-two thousand dollars, but that's not including the level-up jack system, which is several thousand dollars, not including the extra air, not including the inverter, the bigger fridge, not including the stack washer and dryer. You know, you've got fifteen thousand dollars plus worth of options on this RV, plus the extra TV in the bedroom that wasn't standard, that had to be ordered like that, um, and more. Like I said, get the go to my website, parkwayrvcenter.com, or if you're watching this on YouTube, if you'll go to the video description, first paragraph, there'll be a link to my used fifth wheel page. Click on that, go to this um, uh, Columbia Compass, and I'll have this right here in PDF that you can download and look at your own leisure, and you'll see all the standard equipment, all the stuff that's not standard, that was paid extra for when it was new. And plus the information about the, the specs, the weights, the R factors. Um, I'll have pictures on the website as well. I'll have a factory floor plan. I'll have a uh, finance applications if you need to finance. Financing is available with approved credit. Minimum 10% down payment, cash or trade equi equity is mandatory. And if you've got issues with your credit, your debt to income ratio is too high, your score is a little low, of course, you may have to pay more than 10% down. 
I don't make the rules, folks. The banks do. They're the ones with the money, not me and not Parkway RV. It's the bank's money. They're the ones that set the criteria uh, for who they finance, whether that you're approved or not, and how much you're approved for. They set that. I don't. We have no control over that, folks. But you can apply for financing. We do take trade-ins. Uh, we'll trade for anything of value that we can legally sell and not have to feed every day. It doesn't have to be an RV or a camper or a fifth wheel. It can be a car, truck, SUV. It can be a boat. It can be so many things. Of course, keep in mind, time of year for boat customers. This time of year, it never fails. We have what we call the yearly boat rush because everybody is putting their boats up for the winter, so they want to trade them for an RV. And, of course, you know, this time of year, we get two or three people a, a day wanting to trade in boats. And... Um, it's got the boat this time of year, folks. We got to be in very affordable because it's going to sit in the spring, where a fifth wheel like this could sell ten or twelve times before a boat wheel. So please keep that in mind. But we will, if we can put a value on it, folks. We're not scared to give you a trade-in value for it. So we'll do the best we can to make everybody happy. But you got to look at what this thing is worth. It's worth, like I said, technically it's worth what it costs new, but. It's 40 grand less, or almost 40 grand less. Give us a call, folks. This is a great opportunity you probably never have again. 46.9, checked out, ready to go with the warranty. We give you 21 nights of free camping up to seven nights at a time at select RV resorts nationwide. You get the, uh, after this unit's been through the service and been then my cleanup crew gets a hold of it inside and out. We're going to call you, set up a time to pick it up. When you arrive to pick it up at your appointed time, uh, the tech that checked it out knows it better than anybody is going to spend some time with you, go over it with you, show you how to operate everything, show you any repairs, which I'm sure he won't have to make any repairs, but he'll show you any repairs he had to make, uh, answer your questions, give you tips, tricks, and pointers, and help you hook it to your pickup truck. If you need assistance getting a hitch installed, we can, we can help you out with that as well. Give us a call, 706-965-7929. Um, that number is answered 24-7. Nationwide delivery is available. Folks, please keep in mind, a deal like this, distance is no factor. When you're saving $40,000, anybody will travel pretty much any distance to get a deal like this. So keep in mind, this thing's not going to last long. I mean, it's just, wow. Still got sawdust in the cabinets from where they built it at the factory. <laughs> wow. Anyway, folks, give us a call. Uh, 706 965 7929. Now, we will give you a little bit of a discount if you want to take option B. Option B is you buy the unit as is, which, folks, be your own judge on that. I mean, I know what I would do, but. I quit recommending option A or B. I'll, I want everybody to come look at it yourself and uh, spend some time in it, get to know it, try everything out yourself before you decide if this is the one for you and before you decide if you want it checked out or if you want to take the discounted price and take it as is. That's up to you. But option B, as is, means buyer is 100% responsible for any current or future repairs this RV may need. There's no exclusions to that rule. You don't get a warranty. You don't get a walkthrough demonstration, no inspection. You buy it the same way we did, which is absolutely as is. You hook to your truck and go only. If you do choose option B, folks, keep in mind, we've already checked the airs, the jacks, the slide outs, the lights, and um, the fridge. So you know all that stuff's good. So if you want to come out and look at it, perform your own inspection, and then decide if this is the one for you, that's the best way to buy it. Now, of course, I know not everybody can come travel down here to Ringgold, Georgia to buy from us. Uh, we understand that, you know, a lot of people buy these things sight unseen over the internet. We sell a couple of hundred a year to people we never even meet, and we appreciate the trust that everybody puts in that. And if we can do anything to assist you and give you peace of mind buying one that way, we're always happy to shoot custom videos for you. If you want to see a system I didn't cover in the video, we'll show it to you. If you want to see uh, additional pictures, let your salesperson know. He'll send you all the pictures of any any part of it you want and more and answer any questions you have and help you assist with your decision 
if this is the right one for you or not because I know not everybody can travel down here to buy from us. Now, we do appreciate, we do prefer to shake everybody's hand that we do business with, but I know life gets in the way sometimes. I understand that, and we'll do our best to, to put your mind at ease if you want to buy it sight unseen. Give us a call, folks, 706-965-7929. Uh, if you've got questions, if you want a copy of the inspection list of everything that we're going to go over for the option A price, and plus they'll tell you what the current lead time is for a fifth wheel checkout, which isn't long. Uh, we don't check it out till we sell it, folks. We don't do the full inspection anyway. Um, so you can rest assured nobody's, after this thing's been inspected and cleaned, we're going to lock it up so nobody's going to come in here and damage anything or spill something in it or have kids jumping up and down on your furniture damaging it. No, folks, it'll be locked up. It won't be unlocked until you arrive to pick it up. We can deliver, folks, nationwide. Give us a call if you want a quote on that. Tell us where you want it sent to. Wow. It, this is just nice, folks. I mean, this is a beautiful... You feel like you're in a, a million-dollar house, but it's mobile. I mean, just every way everything's colored and appointed and the furniture and the appliances. and It's basically a mobile mansion, folks. Anyway, give us a call. You'd be glad you did. Uh, of course, the prices are out the door. They're firm, haggle-free. Doesn't matter if you're paying cash, trade, or finance, or a combination of the three. That uh, we do have to charge applicable sales tax. You got a question? How much your sales tax will be? When and where you got to pay it? Sales tax laws vary from state to state. They vary sometimes on how you pay for it. Contact my sales department for an accurate estimate on your sales tax. So there's no surprises for anyone. Fifty years, family owned and operated. Uh, since 1968, we sell five to six hundred used units a year. We've always been here for you, always going to be. No commission salespeople, no games, gimmicks, trouble, drama. Everybody gets paid the same here, no matter if you buy one or not. So that's the way buying and selling should be. Thank you for watching, folks. Please call ahead before coming to make sure it's available. Look forward to seeing you in beautiful Ringgold, Georgia.